some people don't know that, hey, uh, I made my profession of Christ and here I am fairly redeemed. And sometimes the devil will use that and he will cause you to dismiss your own self. But I want you to know that just get up and fight again. Amen. Get up and battle again. Don't give up because God didn't send his son to die for you Amen. for no reason at all. Amen. The scripture said it ain't his will that we really perish. But all come to repentance. So God uh, don't want you to, to be lost. God don't want you to give, to give up. So let us bow heads and pray. Father in heaven, we come, Lord, and we we come with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day, for, for, this, for this life, and for this opportunity. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would forgive us for all of our sins. And, and Lord, that you would cleanse us from all of our unrighteousness. We pray, Heavenly Father, knowing, Lord, that you know more about us than we know about our own selves. Come, Heavenly Father, and we bow our heads. Yes, yes. We bow our heads, Heavenly Father, humble in submission to you. Yes, Lord. We bow, Heavenly Father, knowing that we have nothing to offer other than what you've already given. Mm -hmm. All we can do, Heavenly Father, is offer back to you, Lord, that which you have already given to us. Yes, Lord. We bow, Heavenly Father, Lord, asking you to sanctify us. Well, God, that you would touch our minds, our hearts, and our spirits. Yes, touch us, Heavenly Father, in every way, God, that you see that we need to be touched. Yes. In every way, Heavenly Father, that we need to be made better. In, in every way, Heavenly Father, that, that draws us closer to you and, and closer to one another. Yes. Touch us, Heavenly Father, in every way, God, that, that would benefit the kingdom, Lord, and, and it would benefit us. Touch us, Heavenly Father, in every way, God, that it would benefit our brother, Lord, and it would benefit our sisters. Touch us every way, Heavenly Father, that it would benefit our families, God. Yeah. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we bow our head, Lord, we, we bow, Heavenly Father, because we need you. Yes. Lord, some need you for one reason, some need you because they're battling with something else, Lord, but Heavenly Father, we're all standing in the need of your blessing. Yeah. We all know, Heavenly Father, that we can't make this journey without you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, as we come before the throne of God, we, we bow our heads, Heavenly Father, but we know, God, that we are not worthy. Yeah. We know, Heavenly Father, the only way, Lord, you can hear our prayer, Heavenly Father, that you have to be able to present us to you. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we come right now, God, and, and as we try to come before the throne of grace, we try, Heavenly Father, because we yield everything that we are to you, God. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to hear our cry, Lord. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to hear our prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we have lifted up our voice, Lord, some have said, pray for me. Some have said, pray for my loved one. Some said, pray for my family. Oh, Heavenly Father, when we come and we bring it all to you, God, because, Lord, we have no power to fix it on our own. Oh, Heavenly Father, we come, Lord, we know that we are weak, but we know, Lord, that you are strong. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to strengthen us where we are weak and fill us up, God, where we have been torn down. We ask you, Lord, to prop us on every leading side, Lord, for, Lord, you know what we need better than we know how to ask. Lord God, we ask you to look at us, Lord, for you have granted us to come to this place today. Lord, to assemble ourselves and mingle and commingle our voices together. You have assembled us, Heavenly Father, to be able to praise and lift up hands. A praise and lift up our voices to glorify your holy name. You have assembled us, Heavenly Father, where we can shake one another's hands and bump one another's fists and smile at one another, Heavenly Father, and greet one another in a loving way. You have given us this opportunity, Lord. You have given us this yeah. Help us, Heavenly Father, to take it for what it is. Yeah. Appreciate it for what it is. Understand, Lord, that it's the gift. We pray, Heavenly Father, your blessings upon those who are sick. All of those, God, who are shed in. We pray, Heavenly Father, upon the bereaved families. We pray, Heavenly Father, on the homeless, Lord, those who have a roof over their head. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who 
are hungry. Lord, for those who don't know that way, those who are lost, Lord, have not found you in the point of their sin. We pray, Heavenly Father, because we need you. As we come before the throne of grace, Lord, you are our God. You are our maker. You are our creator and you are our father. You are our king and we come to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For we realize, Heavenly Father, he is the one who's made the way. He is the one who opened the door. Lord, we don't come in our name because our name won't work. But we come in the name of our Savior, one who has already been tested, one who's already gone through the fire, one who has already been in the grave. We come up again, Lord, and we come in his name because, Lord, we know he has overcome. Because he's overcome, Lord, we know that we shall overcome also. Heavenly Father, we lift up ourselves, we lift up our brothers, we lift up our sisters, we lift up our families, and we lift up Heavenly Father using our enemies. And ask you, Heavenly Father, to touch according to your loving kindness, according to your tender love, and according to your mercy. We claim victory in the name of Jesus. And can it is already done in the precious name of Jesus we pray.
word. Amen. And know it's a blessing to be here. Amen. And know it's a blessing to be here. Amen. And thank you, God, for giving us this opportunity to come and to, to lift up our voices to honor him. And not only to just honor him, but to, to, to be able to praise him uh, and to be able to let our needs be made known to him. God wants to hear from you. Uh, he wants to hear what your troubles are. He wants to hear the things that concern you. He wants to hear about the things that's got you stopped in your tracks. You want to know what he needs to do to help you. Yeah. Uh, he already knows it, but he wants you to ask him. Yeah. He said, ask and I'll give it. Yeah. Then he says in one script, he said, you have not because you ask now. Yeah. Then he turned around and said, you ask and have not because you ask for this. Yeah. In other words, get it right. <laughs> he said, there's a place and there's a way that everything has to be done. God is a God that does things in a certain order. Mm -hmm. uh, he's not a God that takes <coughs> second place. He wants first place. Uh, he needs us to give him that first place in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because he wants to lead us and he wants to guide us and direct us in a way that he knows that would be beneficial to us. And will bring about rejoicing and pleasure to him. Amen. So we give God praise and we thank him. And I miss my partner this morning. Amen. I always miss my partner when he is here. Amen. Amen. But I do understand. Amen. Lots of time life takes you Amen. in many different ways. Amen. Lots of time responsibilities and different things that go on in life that this comes and it's just there. Mm -hmm. And you um, may not know, uh, may not have no control of there are things that we just don't have control of. Mm -hmm. So I give God praise and I thank God for I thank God for each year and one of you. Uh, our scripture reading coming today is from St. Luke. <coughs> thank Luke 22 and While he yet speak, <clears throat> while he yet speak, behold a multitude, uh, and he that was called Judas, one of the twelve before them, drew near unto Jesus and kissed him. And Jesus said unto him, Judas, betrayed thou the son of man with a kiss. <clears throat> when they which were about him saw what would follow, they said unto him, Lord, shall we smit with the sword? One of them smote the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. And Jesus answered and said unto him, said, Suffer you thus far. And he touched his ear and healed him. And then Jesus said unto the chief priests and the captains of the temple, and the elders which were come to him, Be you come out as against thieves, swords, and staves? When I was daily with you in the temple, Stretch forth not your hand against me, but this is your hour, the power of darkness. May God bless the reading and the hearing of the Holy Word. As Jesus is traveling toward the cross. And he had said to the disciples, wait here and pray. Why I go over young and pray. 
Stolte tells us how the disciples went to sleep. They laid down and they went to sleep. And somehow or another, they got comfortable enough to go to sleep. And I'm going to talk about the danger of comfort. The danger of comfort. I thought about this thought. I thought about how it is that when we are hungry, pray for God to give you something to eat. When we are going through tough times and maybe we don't have shelter or just trouble, maybe we just need a job or whatever our situation might be, pray to God. How it is that when the car is running good, the house is good, the money is moving, <laughs> everything seems to be all right. When we have nice beds to sleep in, change the clothes that look good. Have all the good and the comfortable things in life, sometimes it seems to not require as much faith. It seems that it don't require as much prayer. When it seems that the battle is not so bad, and whenever we get to the point to where we got somebody else that can fight for us. Send someone else into the battlefield, fight on our behalf, and we, count, we become comfortable. And when we become comfortable, we begin to lose focus. As I thought about this lesson, as I thought about this thought, I thought about David. How it was that David became a betrayal of the thing that God had given him power to run. Mm -hmm. I looked at this lesson about Judas, how Judas betrayed the Lord, but I thought about how David, when he got comfortable, he betrayed the very thing that had put him and made him to be the man that he was. The first thing he betrayed, he betrayed his family. Because he had a family that he should have been faithful to, but he betrayed his family. And his family began to suffer because of him. The things that he should have done he didn't do because he had become comfortable. He betrayed his office as a king. And when God had anointed him to be king, he had to fight to become king. Which times he had to lay out in caves and he had to sleep in the wards and he had to go through all kinds of adversities. When God was raising him up to be king, he prayed and he wrote songs. We see how he expressed himself in prayers and, 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 and in songs that he wrote to God. And how it was, he praised God and he, he prayed that God would give him victory. And he prayed that God would help him and not leave me in the hands of my enemy. He had a great prayer life. When he was hurting. But then when he got comfortable, he betrayed his kingdom. Oh my God. But God wouldn't allow him to remain comfortable. And God would not allow us to remain comfortable. 
And God sent Nathan. You see, because David had betrayed his kingdom, he had betrayed the people that God had sent him over. And he had, his betrayal had destroyed other peoples, had destroyed families, yeah. had broke up homes. Yeah. But God sent Nathan. And I don't know what you're not, but every one of us got a Nathan. Yeah. And today, you don't have to call me Reverend Gordon. Just call me Nathan. <laughs> and Nathan comes to David. And he begins to tell him a story about how it was that this rich man who had herds of, 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 of sheep, but yet a wayfaring man came to him. He said he took a man, a poor man, that had one little lamb that he had raised up in his own house with his own kids. He had nursed and cared for and loved. And, and how it was that this man, Nathan said, took this poor man's lamb and dressed it for a wayfaring man. Y'all don't know about that wayfaring man do. that show up every now and then. <clears throat> he dressed him for the wayfaring man. Mm -hmm. And David said, that man should surely be put to death. Well. And Nathan said, you the man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I thought about how it is that when we think it's somebody else, I 
churches have become betrayal. Betrayal is coming from pulpits. Because preachers are preaching to enrich themselves. And they're preaching to the flesh. Oh my God. Preaching to make people feel good. Oh man, that preacher so makes you feel good. Yeah, God's going to bless you. God's going to do this. God's going to do this. God wants you to get straight. Yeah. God wants you to get right. God wants you to get saved. Yeah. They said all the right things that make you feel good. Yeah. But say nothing to get you saved. Yeah. 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 They don't love you enough to tell you the truth. Yeah. Otherwise, you are betrayed. Families are betraying one another. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Go ahead and preach, y'all. Betraying oh, yeah. one another. Yeah. And Judas came as Jesus and the disciples is in the garden of Gershimi. And Judas come. You say it's not nothing strange for Judas to be there. He's been there before. He's been there many times with Jesus because Jesus, oftentimes, he resorted there and Judas knew where the place was. So it's not strange for him to come. But this time, Judas ain't with the Lord. Do you hear me, church? Yes, he showed up in a common place. <clears throat> showing up in a place that he know, but this time he's with other people. This time he's not there to be in fellowship with the Lord. This time he's not there to aid and assist. This time he is there to kiss him and betray him. <laughs> Something ain't it <clears throat> when people can get close enough to kiss you. And all the time they got a hidden agenda. Amen. And the Lord said to Judas, so this is how you're going to do it. You're going to betray your Lord. With a kiss. He kissed him and said, hey, oh, master. Oh, just like he really killed him. Like he really, really was sincere. What am I trying to say? I'm saying what you say. I'm saying what you say. Don't be the betrayer. Don't be the one that's kissing people and telling them you love them all the time. You know you ain't shit no problem. Don't you know God will hold us responsible? And the disciples are laying there asleep. They're following the Lord and they said, we're following you in faith. But they sleep. <laughs> we're following the Lord in faith, but following him sleep. Oh my God. Help me, Holy Ghost. I'm bad enough here. But it's a good fight. <laughs> They are asleep. And then Jesus wakes them up and he says to them, wake it up. Pray that you enter not into temptation. And temptation, when temptation arrives, they were not ready. Listen to what I'm saying, church. When trouble rises up, are you going to be ready? I believe we are entering into an hour and a time like we have never saw before. I believe we are coming into a time of darkness like we have never saw before. Look around and you see it every day of your life. And it's just a matter of time. You would have to deal with it if you have not already on a personal level. And will you be ready? Will God be your sword and God be your 
We be on cameras to protect ourselves. Some people will curse you out when you look at them. You don't have to say nothing, you just look at them. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> because that's their sword. That's their sword. And they have grown in a way that they have developed to say, I'll get you before you get me. Church people do that. <laughs> people do that. Yeah, we don't have to quit cutting one another. Oh, my God. Okay, let me see. We say we got faith. We say we got faith. Jesus said, listen, he said, you ask anything in my name, and I'll do it. If you'll ask anything in my name, I'll do it. If it's in my name, I'll do it. He didn't say you could just use his name and do anything you want to. He said it has to be in my name. How can I ask in the Lord's name? If I ask in the Lord's name, that means there is a perimeter in which I have to be in to ask.
said, I don't want to do that. Yeah, we will. Peter said, Lord, I won't never deny you. But when the pressure was on, hold your hand. That's us. That's us. You know what the best thing to tell the Lord? Lord, I don't want to do it or not. Lord, I'll try. I don't know if I can do this. I've said this time and time again. The Lord look at me, he must say he's the dumbest preacher I got. Because it seems like he don't know nothing. Because he always tells me, Lord, I don't know. And I tell the Lord I don't know because I don't know. Because I understand that we walk by faith. And we are not walking aside. I know I can't promise you I'm going to do something tomorrow because I might not be here tomorrow. Amen. I know I can't tell you I'm going to do something tomorrow because even from here, the devil might have a hope here in some way. My main spell might be coming out. Amen. Let that be that. Let that be that no mean spell. You got one, two or three in somebody. <laughs> Because you're selfish. Amen. 
Y'all don't get mad at me. Amen. I'm mad at me for telling the truth. Amen. Because we're selfish. Amen. My, my, my. We sound Amen. like Johnny Gee. <laughs> we're selfish. We want it our way. We want to do our own thing. When we want, how we want, any way we want, and don't we want to have to answer to nobody for doing it. Oh, but, oh my God. Nathan don't come by. Nathan come by. You'll find out where you stay. God bless you. I hope you have been by today.
to make be made better. Yeah. And we praise you for this, Heavenly Father, because yeah. we realize, Lord, that you are just getting us ready. Yeah. You're just fixing us. You're just strengthening us, Heavenly Father, yeah. because we understand, God, you have greater plans. Yeah. Plans, Lord, that you have for us. There's a need for us to become stronger. Mm -hmm. Oh, Heavenly Father, we, we give you praise. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the prayers that has been lifted up. We thank you, Lord, for the songs that has been sang. Yes. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for every hand clap, every wave, Heavenly Father, that honored your holy name, Heavenly mm -hmm. Father, every goose bump that got failed. Yes, we thank you for it, Heavenly yes. Father, because we realize, Lord, that it's all a gift. Yes. Yes. We pray, Heavenly Father, for each and every one of the sound of my weak voice. For, Lord, some of your people are just struggling and having difficulties in life. Yes. Going up and down, Heavenly Father, and just trying to make it through. Yes. Pray your strength on them, Heavenly Father, that you would strengthen them, God, yes. in a way, Heavenly Father, where they know that you are there. Yes. Where they know, Heavenly Father, that you got this. Yes. And whenever, Heavenly Father, we are panicking and when we are frantic, Heavenly Father. Help us know, God, that you are not excited. Because, Lord, you are calm, Heavenly Father, because you are in control of the will. Yeah. Yeah. Heavenly Father, you are totally in control, Lord, and you will never leave or forsaken us. Yeah. Help us, Heavenly Father, to hold on to that knowledge yeah. and that understanding. Amen. Oh, God, that we might be able to find, to walk and to live in that peace yeah. that passes all on the shame. Yeah. We claim victory. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Count it is already done. Yeah, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Now may the love of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ be uh -huh. buried and a risen Savior. May the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit may it rest rule and may it abide with each of us until we shall meet again. Uh -huh. Let us all sing. Amen. Amen.